Oscar! Tango, Foxtrot, Whiskey! Oscar! How's it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Bar Stool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. In this case, I'm going to be doing the Trevor Air Trafficking missions. And in order to do that, you have to buy Mackenzie Field, I believe it is. And then you can do them. And there's another mission, I believe, which Trevor does do and has the option to buy Mackenzie Field. I don't know if I documented that. If I didn't, I'll probably do that in the future. But let's get on with Trevor's air missions. When you arrive at the field, you get into the airplane and the missions begin. This first mission is relatively simple, just two drop-offs and then move on. Oscar! Tango, Foxtrot, Whiskey! Oscar! Hey, oh, you're on the edge. I like that, I think. Okay, that plane is, is custom fitted for package drops. State of the art radar, secure radio. It's tricked out, man. Really? Because it looks like it was made by a child for a school project. You're just a typical classic light aircraft enthusiast enjoying his midlife crisis. No profile. My middle name. Okay, radar's working. They're up on the screen here. We got two deliveries. I put in the coordinates. You make the drops, you get out of there. Roger! Oscar! Trevor! Now you just gotta fly to the target. You kinda wanna stay low to the ground. Now I'm gonna get things lined up and I'm gonna go for the first target and once I get to the first target then I'll explain the best way to do a drop. You get close to the target, a large yellow circle appears, and you have a, maybe a second or two. You can try and be we dead center, but delivery. as long as you get it into that I yellow heard. circle, you're good. You've delivered the package. Now you can move on to the next one. This looks like the altruist camp. Probably is. And I did a video about them a while back. the drop. That means all the buyers have their deliveries? Nice work. Bring the plane back in. There you go. Nice and simple. Now you just have to bring the plane back into the airfield. Didn't get a time bonus, but I did get the accuracy bonus. And that is the first mission. Let's move on to the part two of this and the next delivery mission. Trevor Phillips reporting for duty. Good. Listen, man, we got some heat. Cops, feds, no, uh, I ain't sure, but they got radar set up. Scanners. They know there's an operation going down here. So you're saying we lie low for a while? No, just fly low. Business don't stop. Buyers are waiting. If you stay close to the ground, you won't pop up on their radar. You'll get warned by Oscar if you are above the threshold you need to be. And it's kind of easy to do. You just got to stay low, go slow. And I'm going to head toward the first um, 
how should I say, drop off, and you got to keep it low. Yeah, you can hear the complaints from Oscar about how you are too far, too high up and keeping low. When he starts complaining, just drop your altitude a little bit. The problem is you're flying so low, you might actually hit some signs or something. So, yeah, you got to kind of adjust things a little bit. Another package received. Muy bien. That's all the drops done. Come on home now. Down there. I mean, I'm not stupid. I look after the bagels. I pay dues to Madrasso. But I'm freelance, man. Mission passed, uh, low altitude bonus, accuracy drop. I didn't get those other two bonuses, but hey, at least I'm accurate. Oscar, you there? What's the drop? Trevor Phillips Industries prides itself on its fair competition in the marketplace. Bombing is a little more difficult and it depends on altitude. You can guide the bomb in a little bit using the controls and yeah, again you come in, if you're too low you might not be as accurate as possible. If you're too high you might be able to guide the bomb in. Let's just see how this first one works out. Yeah! Now, I had to play through this a little bit a few times. I'll be honest, I edited and put together my best mission because when I missed and I had to fly around and return back you only have so many bombs so all I did is I just flew the plane into the ground and started from the beginning so let's see how this next one works out and well it's gonna be a little higher altitude
the target. That should slow down their operation. Something, just not the right thing. Oh, don't tell me this, Mano. Well, since this was my last target, I didn't want to start from the beginning. So I'm going to turn around and bomb them. And yeah, you're going to miss. If you don't want to and you need to be perfect, just crash the plane and move on. But I didn't want to start from the beginning. I just passed over the target rather than be unsure about whether or not I'm going to hit and waste another bomb. I'm swinging around and trying to get a better approach to where I'm very much more sure of having bombed the target. Took a few tries, but yeah, I finally blew up the bad guys. Now I'm going to bring the airplane back to the hangar. Mission passed on to the fourth target, or fourth mission. No bonuses for me because I missed a target. Yeah, this next mission is much harder. You're bombing moving targets. And I'll admit I crashed a plane a couple times and wasted a lot of bombs. This is the best playthrough. Speak to me, amigo. What's happening? I got some new intel on the Salvadorians. They're bringing the guns in by sea and moving them out by rail. <laughs> you could take out their boats and the freight train. We could put a freeze on their supply channel. You make it all sound so professional. You are bombing moving targets. And to be honest with you, the easiest way to do this is to lead the target and when it gets below you, drop the bomb. Hopefully, you drop it right on them. Oh, oh, we won't be hearing from them again. They asked for it. The boats were stationary, but the train isn't, and so you will have to lead it. I tried to get ahead of it, just slightly ahead of it, drop the bomb, and let the train move into it. I had a little trouble with it. You'll see what happens, and I'm fast-forwarding a lot of footage in order to get to the train. This is my first approach. I'm trying to come in. Yeah, I got the windmills and stuff. I'm trying to get lined up over the train tracks. 
and it's not as easy as it looks. My first few attempts, I overshot the train, so I'm going to fast forward through those, and I didn't drop any bombs because you only have two more. Okay, I'm doing some serious air maneuvering around here, but this is my most successful attack. Mission passed. Yeah, nothing for accuracy or time. It took 10 minutes to do this, and that's after about 30 minutes of playing. Yeah, this was another one that took about 30 minutes to play, and this is my best pass through. You'll see why once we get going. Captain Phillips to ground control. You want the good news or the bad news? Ha! <laughs> How bad can it be? Those hillbilly local runners, they've moved in on your airfield and are using it as a base. What? I will fucking destroy them! Yeah, I thought you'd say that. So the good news is, my guys fitted the plane with a new carpet bombing system. Instead of a single bomb, you can now drop a chain. Just make sure you have several targets lined up beneath the plane before releasing, so we don't waste ammo. Oh, I won't waste any. I'm flying the way I'm flying to get the best angle on the arms runner. You might want to do some passovers first and see how things are checked out, but this is difficult. You want to get the carpet bombs in a line and destroy all the vehicles as quickly as possible. You only have four tries at this. set off some kind of alarm. That worked out well. I took down the airplanes. Now I got to circle around and try and take out the next set of airplanes and eventually the vehicles. Again, this is difficult. You got to get things lined up. You kind of want to get everything you can and, you know, just one smooth drop. Otherwise, yeah, you could lose your bombs and have to redo this mission multiple times. Got a little frustrating. vehicles yeah you show them key i took out the trucks so i'm going to go back try and realign and take out the other set of airplanes yeah this is like i said you got to get everything lined up you got to be sure when you drop the bombs it can be annoying and frustrating but i'm going to swing around and try and get the other set of airplanes Yeah, 
I had to do this multiple times. This was the best pass, and thankfully I hit them all in a row. Don't want to get into the prison there. So let's bring this crate back and get our pass and whatever rewards we get. Mission passed and bonus for accuracy, but not time. It took five minutes or slightly over five minutes. The reality is it took me maybe a half hour, 40 minutes of replaying and crashing the plane, losing bombs, etc. before I got it right. Again, this was my best pass through. If you found it instructive and informative, hit the thumbs up button, you know, leave some comments. Now you can just do delivery missions to earn money for Trevor if you feel like doing it. This airport is now open for, again, you get in the plane, fly a, a, a dropping mission, a smuggling mission, whatever. But these five missions that I showed you are the main ones. And then after that, you can keep doing some smuggling and make some money. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.